this little bitch came over to visit to work on his car. What'd you do? Um, all this stuff is out, and all of that stuff is out. You don't need it. Yeah, you do. You need a spare. I need a spare. So, we're here with Mark and his car. About to pull out the engine. We're gonna see how much we can take off. He finally got an engine. That's his engine right here. My tranny right there. So, let's see. We could walk you through most of this. So, we already took off the manifold because. We want to make sure it's hydro locked. So the manifold's out. We're going to take off all the wiring off. Maybe we'll get to the motor mounts. Maybe not. Depending on how much time Mark has here. Because I'm not going to do this without him. We took off all the wire harness. Usually this one, the one in the back for the power steering, is a pain in the butt. But Rafita got it. Yep. So you have small hands. Hmm. Uh, Makes his dick feel bigger too. <laughs> remember to disconnect the battery, or else when taking off the starter, you're gonna might get electrified. <laughs> Unless your battery's been sitting there for like nine months and it hasn't been starting in nine <clears throat> months, and you can't do anything in your life. Don't matter. What happens to the injectors? Because well, you didn't take out just tank the battery? The injectors squirted a little fuel all over the place. Big deal. <laughs> <clears throat> we took off the... Okay, fuel. Where's my fuel line? Coolant yeah. reservoir. AC, and that's what happens when you disconnect the line. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I got no tools or a vacuum to take off all the AC and take it off. But he said all he this is toxic, it, but he did it. Yep. So what I like to do is actually put the bolts back on. That way I know where they go, and I don't have a bunch of bolts that I don't know where they go. Are missing. These are your AC lines, your high and low. So, as far as this, taking on a motor is pretty easy. You just gotta take off everything that's connected to it. So, anything like the AC lines, motor mounts. Um, cooling lines, wire harness. Sometimes you have grounds like these that are just like extra grounds. Back here, you actually have your power steering line. Um, the I'm pretty sure you can't see it. Back also here, you also have uh, the header. You got to remove the header off of it, or um, from the exhaust. I like to remove the whole header by. This guy doesn't. Cause, put your hand up. <clears throat> Do we see a problem right here? That's uh, why you have special tools or the right tools to take it off. Oh, we've been through this before. my hand all the way in there. All we need is small hands. We've been through this already. <laughs> but yeah. Now, Wait on him to see what he's doing on that side. Have the whole harness out. I'm waiting on. Are you guys saying what size of nuts you need to take the nuts? Mm. 
No, because it's pretty common forward. Most these but cars. Some people, they don't know. You need a, as long as you got everything deep socket from a 10 mil, 12 mil, 14 mil, 17, 17 and 19, 19, and 21, you're good. Yep. So that's all you need. And of course, wrenches whenever you can get a socket in there. But. And when you get really most, mad, a hammer. For the most part, you just need some basic tools, and that's it. Um, take out the, if you have an impact gun, it helps a lot, especially when we take off the axles. Um, and of course, a jack and a hoist makes things a lot easier. I've seen people done it with a piece of wood, um, and then using manpower. If you got the manpower, go ahead and do it. But lucky for us, we have an engine hoist, we have a jack, we have most of the tools here, so it should be fairly easy. And if you guys can, go to your local Home Depot and pick yourself up a Rafita. <laughs> Preferably no. one of age of, you know, like 25 and up, so they've been through some shit in life and they know what's up. Oh, another thing. <laughs> Go to Home Depot and buy yourself a chain to hoist this. Don't be like our friend Ezman. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at it. Don't be like our friend Ezman. I got a seatbelt. Seat so this seatbelt goes through my intake manifold all the way down, puts pressure on my coolant lines, then goes all the way around here, puts pressure on my power steering pump, because that's what's holding it, this bracket that's bending already. So it's already bent, but essentially my power steering pump is probably going to be replaced already. Thank you, Esvin. And he also let the seatbelt go through all the belt side of the pulleys. So way to go. A simple chain back here, or no, right here and back there, that's where you put it at. Would have worked. But hey. It's our boy, Esvin. He doesn't know how to work on cars. So. His name's eBay. It doesn't fix them. We break up, we fix it. He blows engines, I blow engines. Boom, oh, done. He just breaks them and calls it a day. Can I start pulling hoses off? Yeah, just make sure there's a drip pan. Somewhere down there. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, but make sure it's gonna land where you put it. Oh yeah, don't be like Esman that uh, he starts disconnecting stuff, knowing it's gonna leak without putting a drip pan there. Making a bigger mess. They're like, man, Ezra's a pretty fuck up his knee. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the silica community is gonna talk shit to him. So the wire harness is off because we had to take out off because we're going from 03 to 2000, so we're going backwards. Yep, because yeah. you want that throttle by cable. Not flat by wire. Yeah, so we took it out. You don't have to take it off when you do an engine replacement, but since we're doing a conversion from 03 to 2000, we do. Uh, AC lines are already disconnected. Most of the cooling lines are already disconnected from the car. So, I'm still working on the header over here, taking off the shield, and I still need the two from the power stream pump. Can't see. But, I don't know what this guy needs over here. Most likely the course, you're gonna take off the shifting cables. Shifting cables. Back here, there's a couple of plugs that he disconnected from the wire harness, which are the tranny ones. I took off the safe cylinder already, just right here. Just put it off to the side. It won't get in the way. It was just a couple of bolts, like two bolts right here, and then a couple of bolts right here for the lines. You know? Uh, um, we took off the wheels already. I'm gonna go through that. Uh, on these Toyotas, you better be careful because it has a punching. This one didn't have it. Basically, what I'm going to remove is these two bolts. Uh, the tie rod right here. And your brake line, because this is going to come forward and you're able to take off the axle. 
So, passenger side is off. It's pretty easy. Just gotta take off that one. And it has two bolts. Like I said in my last video, one here and one on the top. So, give me the camera. Nope, it's not gonna be fun. Alright. So. <laughs> First attempt, you can't even see shit on yours. Oh shit! Oh, yes. yes! Fuck yeah! Fuck you, Axel! Hey, it's OEM. So, that one was easy. Usually, that it's a bitch to take off. And because of this little slut right here, where's it at? Oh, oh that would have been bad. Can you see? Mm -hmm. This little ring that I'm gonna play with right now. That thing is what makes it a pain in the ass. A little. So what you do? Snap ring. It's either quick force, like, like quick with the pry bar, or what he did, just pull on it real quick. And usually pulling doesn't work. This is an OEM axle, so I don't know if it pertains to OEM and non-OEM. But I've had in my past, and it was an OEM axle. When I pull, all it did was flex the boot, like you see right here. It just did this. It didn't actually come off right here. I give it a couple good tugs and it actually came straight off. And since these are OEM maxes, I may reuse them. They look good, no? Mm-hmm. So I might save so. some money on new axles then. So yeah, the hard part is done. I think this motor is going to come out today. We're just going to wait just, on him to pull, to pull just, the header off. Yeah, because his big ass hands can't get there. So yeah, 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 yeah. I just got to clean up this mask because it started leaking. Oil. It started leaking, and um, like I didn't have the oil pan down there, so I'm gonna clean up this mess and then start working on the header, so I could go down there and not get dirty with all this oil. So he always goes down. I <clears> gets <throat> dirty. Yeah, on girls, not on guys like you. See, why you gotta make it sexual? Now I can point you. That was my end. I don't think this motor's coming out. We still haven't taken out the header. Grab my keys right there and go in my car and grab the And this will have to go to work. So, we're cut it right here. We only there, took out the heat shield. <laughs> Alright. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. I cleaned up. What the fuck? We just gotta put the motor. He's taking his HIDs. Put the car back in the parking spot. Mark's ready to go already. Yeah. Cause he got to work in about two hours. Less than two hours now. Well, get the fuck out of here. I'll see you another day.